What's up YouTube, Brian here back again. Today we're on the table. We're gonna review and look at two of the speed bags that are on the market. I don't know why they came up with this name, speed bags, I don't know where it came from, but we're gonna look at the KVD branded Plano speed bag against the new Six Sense uh, speed bag. They're both considered large. Actually, I think on Tackle Warehouse, the Six Sense is considered the medium bag, but on other sites, it's called the large. And then this is the large uh, KVD Plano bag. So full disclosure, I've been using the KVD Plano bag for um, a full, I don't know, probably two years now. Uh, when these first came out, I started buying them. I have many of them. I probably have about 12 of these things. Side note, if you have a Nintendo Switch, these things make an awesome Nintendo Switch carrying case. Just FYI, I gave one to my son and that's what he uses it for. So anyway, so I have a lot of experience with the KVD bag. The Sixth Sense bag is new and I'm gonna kind of compare the two. So first off, they're both mass produced Chinese crap. There's not a whole lot of great craftsmanship into these things. Um, they both retail at $14.99, so they're 15 bucks each, the same price. Now we're gonna look at the Plano first. Um, I have this thing packed full of some plastics at the moment. I have what I would consider a full loadout for the this particular bag. Um, now, what's funny thing? The funny thing on these Plano bags is if you look on the side, um, they actually say it holds 40 worm bags. Um, I guess maybe 40 crappie worm bags. I don't know. The marketing on these things is totally full of crap. I've never fit 40 plastic bags in this ba in this um, KVD speed bag ever. Um, at average, you're going to get probably, you know, between 15 and 22 bags in here, depending on what you use. So in here right now, I got this thing pretty much packed with like common baits that everyone would use. Um, I have nine Rage plastics and I have eight Sankos. Now I could probably squeeze a ninth Sanko bag in here. You really could if you tried, or you could just lay one on the top. So just say we go, we got nine, nine Rage bags and eight. Uh, Senko bags. Now, a couple of the things I like about the KVD speed bag. Number one, and I'm going to make this comparison on the six cent bag, is that you can open and close this one handed. So it's got a really nice smooth zipper with a um, rope, or I'm sorry, with like a shoelace tag with this piece of rubber. Now you can one handed just open and close. So typically I throw these in my boat, throw it on the deck, I reach the zipper, bust it open, um, and then quick close. So easy to get open and close. Um, it's one thing about the KVD bag is there's a rigid, probably cardboard, um, or some kind of, uh, I don't think it's plastic, but it's probably cardboard. So there's these rigid chunks of cardboard that go up and down the sides to keep this thing from smashing down. So you can stack these bags on top of each other and that rigid part of the bag will let more than one bag sit on top of that bag and not squish your plastics down. So that's a, a plus for the KVD column. So rigid sides. Easy to open single finger bag, um, I'm sorry, single finger zipper, and um, you got these two handle straps. Um, you know, they're not the most durable thing in the world. If they get wet, they might bubble a little bit on this vinyl. I'm assuming this is some kind of cheap vinyl. Um, so let's take these plastics out and look at the inside. So I'm going to take out all nine of these Rage Baits. I'm going to put them right here. We're going to move these over to the, um, the Six Sense bag. So if you notice um, on these speed bags, they do have a divider that's um, removable or you can put it off to the side. So if you want to put big long baits in here or like big long swim baits or something um, or just a bunch of like a fishing line, you can take this out. I will not take it out. It's, it's stitched in, but you can move it and then you can put that back in place. So the other thing that's nice about these things, when you store them, they go flat. Um, if you notice, there's that, there's two, there's two rigid panels here. I'm assuming that's cardboard, um, but it does flex. And the other thing too is, if you want, when you have the plastics in, I should have done this before I took them out, but you can fold this bag open. So you can have this sitting open like this and then get at all your plastics. I don't know why you do that. I've never really done that while I'm on the boat, but for some reason they made it so you can fold it over if you so choose. So anyway, I like the KVD bags. Um, if I was going to make any improvements, a lot of people complain that you can't label these things or they don't come in different colors. It would be cool if they came in more, the, more than just red because then you could uh, color code your baits. Um, personally, I take, I haven't done it on this one, but I take like a silver Sharpie and just write uh, what type of bait is in the bag on the top. So I'll put like Creature or Finesse or Senkos. So I just write on the dang bags um, and then I know which bag is which. So easy way to do that. So anyway, if I was going to rate this thing, I give this thing like a solid 
eight or nine out of ten. It's really great uh, storage system. Do I wish they were a little bigger and wider and held more plastics? I guess um, having some bigger ones would be nice, but I actually have probably 10 of these in my boat at any time. And I have a very long, narrow compartment on my right side of my bass boat deck. And these things layer up really nice. So I have like three on the bottom and then all three on the top. So because of that rigid sides, um, you can stack these things pretty well. So let's jump over to the new Six Sense bag. Um, some of the prime differences are no... Um, there's no paneling to make these things rigid. Um, also, you have handles, not on the sides, but on the on the butts, so on the front and the back. Now, I have a reason, I, I think I figured out why they put one on each side, and that's to get these zippers open. Now, you can't one-handed open these zippers, so you kind of have to grab the handle and then pull, and then it'll open up. So, now, I, I'm curious why Sixth Sense did this particular form factor. So, KVD bag is long and narrow. This thing is wide and has no dividers in it. So if we open this thing up, it's pretty, pretty no frills inside, um, no dividers. I think a divider might have been nice to throw in here. Um, so let's load up the Rage Plastics. Now, when I was loading this thing up, I had a little bit of a, like, which direction should I put these things in? So we'll go horizontal because that seems like the most obvious. So I have my nine Rage Baits and I have my eight bags of Senkos. And it fits pretty much the exact same amount of baits as the KVD bag. It's definitely not bigger. Um, I maybe could squeeze in another pack of, I'd say I could probably squeeze in one, one more bag in the back here, but I also could have squeezed in one more bag on the KVD. So one thing is, is there's a big, there's a big gap now on the side. Because of this bag is wider, um, you can definitely squeeze a couple bags of plastics on the side so you could have a little bonus room by throwing in some um, plastics over here so because of it being a little wider um you can do that so now to close this thing you can't really close it one-handed if you jerk it you can but you can't just like smoothly open it one-handed maybe when the zipper breaks in you could but you got to kind of be a little violent it's not as smooth as the kvd bag um, so you got to kind of grab these handles here, flap it open. Now the zipper doesn't go all the way around the front. Is this a Velcro, like cheap Velcro here, which is fine, I guess, because you couldn't really have with this double zipper design, you couldn't have it clap or uh, come together in the front anyways. So there's a lot going on in the front here. Uh, I don't know if I like this because you have this flap for the Velcro, you got the strap for the zippers, and then you got this other strap. So I have a feeling like these things are going to get kind of jumbled, and you're going to kind of grab this thing and dig around for the handle to open it up. So I don't know. It's this whole front part is messy. I don't. I would have designed it a little differently. I would have maybe just put a tab down here to grab to open it up instead of another handle. But whatever. I don't think a lot of like design and R and D really goes into these things. One plus on the on the six cents bag is that it does have a side compartment, which the KVD bag does not. So this would be great for putting hooks in because um, it's flat. So you could put like terminal tackle here, um, a little bag of um, net heads or some weights or something. So you do have additional storage outside of the compartment, which you do not have on the KVD bag. So definitely a win for the Six Sense group. Uh, now this part right here is just flimsy, cheap cardboard. So as soon as some water gets in there, um, so you could write on this. Um, like I said, look, it's just it's just a piece of cheap cardboard, so you can replace this on your own if you really wanted to. So you're 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 supposed to be able to label this thing, but if any water gets in here, this thing's gonna get kind of ruined. So I would probably actually replace this with like something I don't know, like a piece of vinyl or something. But anyway, so they gave you a little window to write your baits down. Okay. Um, now the other thing that's weird about this bag is. It's not really, it doesn't have that much more room than the KVD bag, although it's the exact same price. Um, let's, try and re, uh, let's try and organize these uh, horizontally, which is weird because you can't double, I don't know why they didn't make this bag like two inches longer so you could go double side by side with a divider down the middle. That would have been awesome. So six cents. If you're going to do another one of these, make... It so you can go. I hope Sixth Sense watches this. So you can go this way and squeeze some plastics up front and then some horizontally. Um, that gives you a little more room actually. So actually, if I do it like this, I have a lot more room to put in baits. So that's kind of interesting. So I could probably put about 
maybe three or four more packs of um, rage baits if I organize it this way. So honestly, going some baits horizontal this way and then vertically this way might give you the most room in this thing. So something to think about. So he gives you some options, but you know what? A divider would have been nice to have to slip in here. I also, if I was going to design this bag, I would have made it, like I said, about two inches longer in the back. So you could go two rows like this. Then I think this bag would have been a true like big bag for all your baits and would have been awesome. So now, now that it's loaded up, um, there's definitely no rigidity. So if you have, actually there's a, there is, no, that's just my plastics in there. I was gonna say it felt kind of rigid, but that's just because of the um, the rage baits are, are kind of a, a more of a, a rigid plastic. I don't think there's any. No, there's definitely no. There's definitely no panel there. So that's just the plastic that I felt. Anyway, um, if you have a bunch of these, you're gonna stack them on top of each other. Your baits are definitely gonna get smushed um, because there's no panel like in the KVD bag. So. I, on this six cents bag, if I would give a rating, I actually would rate this a little lower than the KVD bag. I like the KVD bag better. I definitely won't be replacing these with this bag. Um, I think if you're a swim bait guy and you got a bunch of big swim baits, this bag could be great. You could throw a whole bunch of your like mag drafts or, or, uh, any of your, you know, your big depths, uh, swimmers, any Huddleston's, like you could put your big swim baits in here and have a pretty nice bag for that. Um, you know, it's not going to be rigid, but you know, you could put big stuff in here. I think that would be great. This bag, I, don't, I actually might keep this bag for just putting all my line in. I think this would be a really great bag to put line in or scents or other stuff besides plastics uh, because it is easy to get in and out um, and you can just kind of chuck it around. But anyway, so in the battle of the speed bags, I think the clear winner is still the KVD. Because of the rigidity, because of the easiness of opening and closing the zipper with one hand and one finger. Um, so if you're really going to try and save yourself time, the KVD bag is going to be faster to uh, access and use than the Six Sense bag. Um, if you're a Six Sense pro staffer and you get these things cheap and whatever, yeah, load up on them. Um, things I wish on the Six Sense bag, I wish it was rigid. I wish it had a divider and I wish it was like two inches longer so you could go two rows of plastics and really cram that thing full of stuff. Um, this bag will hold maybe two, three, four more, four if you really squeeze them in, more bags of plastics than the KVD bag. But I still like the KVD's form factor and the, the paneling on this a little better. So six cents, not a bad um, attempt out of the gate. I wish a company would make a like something that combines the good stuff about this one and the good stuff about this one. Like, you know, I love that they put the extra panel here. KVD, you could do that here too. So I don't know. I think someone out there really could evolve this idea of, you know, quick access plastic bags. Um, if any of them want some of my input, uh, feel free to hit me up, uh, shoot me a message or whatever on, uh, on, on YouTube. But anyway, that's my full review of the KVD Plano versus the Six Sense Battle of the Speed Bags. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, appreciate you checking out my channel. Um, Till next time, have a great afternoon.